You know what, I feel like I'm bigging these fake products up too much, but some of them are actually really good. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but football products can be pretty expensive, with football boots costing £250, football selling for £100, and goalie gloves £110. But luckily, Amazon offers some cheaper alternatives, with products made to look like the real thing, but at a fraction of the price. They all come with the toe indented. And today I'm gonna to be testing every football product they sell and comparing them to the real thing. This ball is actually quite a bit nicer. To see how good they are and if any of it's actually worth buying. Is it bad to say I preferred the fake ones? So I unboxed all my Amazon products and it was time to test the first pair of boots. So the first product we're gonna take a look at is Amazon's answer to the Nike Mercurial Vapor. Here they are. Uh, look at the toes on that. Why are they come with an indent, man? That is shocking, man. <laughs> All right, let's put these bad boys on feet. All right, so these cost me $29.99. I feel like my foot's kind of like half off the boot. It's weird, man. So after lacing the boots up, first things first, I did a little sprint test. They felt nice and light, no complaints there. Next up, I tested them with a bit of dribbling. They're a lot less locked down and tight fitting, but realistically, they're not bad at all. How is that? How That's just like an oh, easy way to get around the night tick, isn't it? So comparing the boots to the real thing, you know what? They're just like a lot less streamlined, but the material actually looks fairly similar. All right, now we're gonna have 10 shots in the fakes, 10 shots in the real. First few shots, these boots actually feel really nice. Oh. Yeah, they feel a lot better. Is it bad to say I preferred the fake one? Ooh. The Amazon Mercurials were not a bad football boot, but the real pair were just overall a nicer fit, more streamlined and offered a more barefoot feel on the ball. So for the first product, the win goes to real. Now we're stepping off the pitch and onto the street, comparing Nike's Mercurial Street football shoes to Amazon's fake version. And packaging wise, there's already a big difference. The real pair cost around 50 pounds and the fake pair around the 25 pound mark. Now first impressions, I think this Amazon pair actually look really nice. They're even called the Mercs. No idea how that's not against copyright, but we move. Side by side, there's not much in it. Let's get them on feet. Right, shoes on. They do feel a bit tight. They're not the most comfortable shoe, but they're all right. Let's test them out. Probably my biggest criticism with these boots is just how slippy they are. Every time I try and do the skill, the ball just seems to slip off. Next up, I'll put on the real pair. Straight away, these felt a lot more comfortable, and they also felt like they had more grip, making skills much easier. For me, this was an easy win for the real pair. Now we head back out onto the pitch to test out the goalie gloves. We've got the Adidas Predator, probably my favorite goalie gloves of all time, versus Amazon's fake Adidas Predator gloves. Nice packaging, honestly. These cost me 31 pounds, whereas the real ones cost 110 pounds. So big, big difference there. You know what, I feel like I'm bigging these fake products up too much, but some of them are actually really good. The real pair do have a bit of a tighter fit around the wrists, but apart from that, there's not much in it. For starters, I'm not sure how they've got around copyright because to me, it seems like they've completely copied the design. It's a really good replica. Let's test them out. I also did a grip test and the real pair won this pretty convincingly. Yeah, they feel pretty solid. You know what? These were really decent. After testing the handling, I then faced some shots. Oh. Oh, nice, really, really happy with these, honestly. So my final decision on these goalie gloves, they're a really good replica, but the win has to go to the real pair. They've got a bit more padding, better grip, and we're just more comfortable on the hand. So in here are the only fake Adidas boots of the video. I packed them into my bag and headed down to the pitch to see if they could compete with the real thing. 
Now these are clearly meant to be Amazon's version of the Adidas Speedflow and these are actually a really good remake. They look like they could be a decent boot but let's test them both out and see which one's better. Now this should be an interesting test as they look like they could be a lot better than the fake Nike boots. First impressions on feet, they're very comfortable. You know what, these fake Adidas speed flows are actually really nice. They're probably my favorite of the fake boots that I've tested so far. Let's put on the real ones and see how they compare. First impressions, just off comfort. These aren't as nice. Right, so final thoughts on the Adidas speed flows. For me, the real ones are better, they just are. But those fake ones were very decent and I'd happily wear them again. Alright, so we're about halfway through this video now and honestly, I'm really impressed with the fake stuff. I don't really want to say that because it feels wrong, but I'm going to be honest, especially when you consider they're a lot cheaper, they're actually quite good. Now, you may have noticed this very nice PSG shirt I've been wearing throughout this video. Well, I also bought a fake version from Amazon, but it's been over a month and it never arrived. So I guess this goes down as another point to the real products. So this is the Nike pitch ball and this is Amazon's replica. Interesting packaging actually, it's actually quite nice. So these are the two balls, they've gone for that same design there. They've got the exact same panel design, they feel very similar. Let's do a blind test and see if I can feel which one's which. Okay. I could not tell you the difference. Yeah, literally felt the exact same. This cost me £25, this cost me £11. Okay, so this one does feel quite a bit lighter. Alright, a little shooting test. Let's do some whippage into the top right. That ball is so light. Both feel very similar. Oh! The fake one did feel a little bit nicer because it had a bit more weight behind it. Now we're going to hit it with some power, see if that makes any difference. Interesting results here. Looks wise and everything. This is a cooler football, but to actually kick, this ball is actually quite a bit nicer. So on this one, Amazon wins. Now onto our penultimate product of the video. On the left, we obviously have the fake super flyers, and on the right, we have the real Nike pair. These are one of the most sold boots on Amazon. Let's see how good they are. Honestly, I feel like I don't even need to test these. Just putting them on feet, I can see that the real ones are night and day better than the fake ones. But I'm gonna test them anyway, but these are so, so much better. Superflyers are an amazing football boot. Now let's try out the fake ones. It only took a few kicks of the ball to make my decision. Despite hitting a worldie there, these boots aren't it. This round obviously goes to the real pair. Now the final product is a cool one. It's a really good looking football boot and a fake version of the Nike Phantom boot. So as you can see, very, very similar. Strange packaging, but we don't have to book by its cover. These cost me 31 pounds. The real ones are about 250. Oh my days. They all come with the toe indented. That's like the Amazon special, just indent the toe on the boots every time. Man. What I do like about these Amazon boots, they do all come with like a shape protector. They feel a bit like kind of cheap and plasticky, but they, out of all the boots I've tested of the fake ones, these feel the best for sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind these at all. They, they look really nice. Oh. Hey. They're not the best for curve. They've literally got no grip. They're quite slippy, but I'm not gonna blame that one on the boots if I want to.
Oh.